am just up. I couldn't sleep. So I'm just gonna go grab a birthday card for my dad at Walmart while my husband's getting ready for work. So I don't have to drag the kids out for that later. Oh my gosh, I don't know. I'm so frustrated. I just went back like 30, 40% here. I, I was about 90, 95% pain free up until this morning. Just that, you know, minor residual stuff. And then when I would touch my elbow or my knee, my left elbow and my right knee, but nothing that I could feel. So this morning, I am able to make a fist with each hand, but they are really, really hurting. My wrist is on fire here. Just trying to open the door this morning to the house was painful. So I don't know. Um, I did put, um, gosh, it was probably like a tablespoon of oil in the boiling water to make that corn pasta yesterday. When I drained the pasta, I could see oil in the sink. So I don't think that I actually consumed more than, I don't know, like a couple drops of, pasta, of uh, oil. I don't know, maybe it's just the, the corn. I don't know, it's frustrating. <clears throat> the uh, safe foods might not actually be safe, so sorry. Just have a tickle in my throat. So I don't know. I don't know if the fast was just not long enough to kick all the crap out of my system very frustrating and um, I, I do have fruit in the house do you know a lot of fruit today but without being able to rotate and having those higher calorie fruits I'm kind of at a loss right now I know a lot of guess and check but um, I don't know, maybe it really was like two drops of oil that went in my mouth from that. You know, it's just, it's so silly. Like I really did not consume much at all. It was, uh, I don't know. Anyway, I'm sorry for the ramble. I am, I am in pain right now. So I don't know, I guess I'm just rambling. All right, see you later guys. in the morning and I'm leaving Walmart and I took a quick video of the two people in front of me checking out as uh, kind of discreetly as possible oops sorry um, couldn't really get too much of a good look of the guy directly in front of me but the one in front of her you could see all her watermelons and the guy in front of me was buying stone fruit and bananas and I don't know just is that a sign gonna have a little pre-breakfast here not that's not a good looking one but all the rest of them look good all right I'm having another container of these still hungry right. it's lunchtime very frustrating day for me I don't know I just feel like it should just be working so um, anyway I am loosening up good uh, I'm not hurting so much anymore, so that's a good thing. Um, but I'd really like to be back Mom, where I was. Can I play with my Play-Doh? You can play with your Play-Doh, go ahead. But I'd really like to be back where I was when I was fasting and have no pain. I'm gonna eliminate corn for a little while, that might have been the trigger. Anyhow, um, I've got romaine and black beans. Gonna make little boats with these things. All right guys, honest video here. Having a hard time today. Um, I don't know. I got pretty discouraged this morning when I woke up with the pain again. And 
I just don't know if I should trust these LCAT results. If in the, you know, second day of eating, I'm already getting to pain. If it's just one food, I don't know how I'm going to figure that out. I don't know. It's my mind is racing at like 100 miles per hour today. So I'm going to kind of sleep on it and figure out what the next move is going to be. I tried those black bean romaine little boat things and I don't know like it's just not just does not taste good to me at all they look really appetizing on the plate I don't think I'm very um, into beans which could cause a big problem here so I don't know I guess I was an emotional wreck and I put on some rice in the rice cooker and I ate a bowl of rice so hopefully that won't do too much damage, but um, yeah, I don't know. Like I, part of me is thinking I should just go back to all raw with that um, experience at Walmart this morning. I know, so silly with people checking out, but then adding back those potentially sensitive foods, bananas, dates, mangoes, I need to have those higher calorie foods I, otherwise I can't function on all raw. I don't know how anybody could do all raw without bananas. Like you need to have bananas. So yeah, I'm like at a crossroads here trying to figure out what the next step is. I know I should have just eaten the black beans and the romaine and just called it, but I don't know. I reached for the rice, maybe not the best decision it's rice. It's white rice. You know, I don't know. It just doesn't seem that damaging. So, yeah, I didn't reach for, like, a Hershey bar or anything. Anyway, yeah, sorry for my venting. I'm just trying to figure out what to do next. Um, I'm getting a lot of, you know, just do it raw comments um, on Facebook when I'm chatting in some of the groups. So I might just ignore the Alcat and do that. I'm uh, going to sleep on it and make a decision soon. Bye, guys. Hey, guys. Okay. I think that I have decided exactly what I'm going to do. Game plan. All right. So I am reacting within two days of my safe Alcat foods. It's, um most likely the corn. I've also heard it could be watermelon. Who the heck knows? Probably the corn, but uh, it's nothing certain. So what I'm going to do, um, I'm actually going on a long road trip driving to New Jersey later in the month. So I'm going to follow a basic high carb, low fat vegan diet like I always have in the past with a few different exceptions that obviously weren't working for me before. Um, Gluten-free, so nothing in that nature. I'm gonna cut out the corn because that was probably um, affecting me. Um, but I'm gonna add back in the bananas that are listed as a sensitive food so I can continue having you know, my, my fruit smoothies, they need to have a nice base. Dates, mangoes, I need to have some sort of base. And I'm finding it harder to get those fruits down. So, um, high carb, low fat, gluten free, and I'm just gonna eliminate the corn for good measure because that was probably not um, something that my body was liking. Um, also, oil free, 100%. So I won't be adding any olive oil or anything, even to, um, uh, boiling water or anything. I actually haven't done that before, but it's been uh, a long time since I've had corn pasta, so um, I, I remember it being very sticky. So I don't know, maybe it was maybe it was that tablespoon of oil that was in the boiling water. Um, I would say about probably 90% of it drained out, but uh, I don't know, maybe the half a teaspoon or quarter teaspoon that was left was just a tipping point. Who knows? So that's the plan. I'm gonna do that for the entire rest of the month until I get back from my trip. I'll be back at the end of the month. 
if I'm seeing no improvement whatsoever, then I'm gonna take the next step and probably um, do a fully raw thing for a little while. I think um, just uh, taking it step by step. I really, really like those satiating foods. The, the rice and the potatoes really make me satisfied and keep me happy. Uh, white potatoes were actually listed as a safe food on that Alcat, but who knows, they might actually not be. Um, and sweet potato was listed as majorly sensitive, so I don't really eat sweet potatoes very often, but I'll probably just continue to avoid them because it does say severe. Gluten was also severe, so I'll keep that out for sure. Um, not sure about the other grains. I have to decide that. That millet, I've never even had those, so... Maybe I'll just put them in soups and stuff for my kids. I'm um, just gonna play it by ear, but high carb, low fat, no gluten, no oil, no corn, the rest of July. Thanks guys. And going in for another hydrotherapy session. Got the very intimidating sign there, as you are welcome. <laughs> I'm just having a small bowl of white rice for dinner. I'm not really very hungry. I feel like I'm back at square one. A lot of pain right now. Good night, guys.